So we're uh, going, this is my brother-in-law's land. She lets me uh, use, just got done trying to hunt. I'm not much a hunter, just basically hiked up, walked in the woods and sat, got cold and came back out. Uh, so we're just gonna, this is my first, let me back up a little bit so we can see where we're getting to. All right, so the first uh, actual off-roading, my little uh, nerd Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. Which, I mean, this is a Subaru could probably get through all this stuff. We're not doing anything real hard wheeling. Just gonna drive around the property. Don't even know if I'm gonna post this anywhere. Uh, I got my safety, my seatbelt on. It's a lot of bumps. On the left, you'll see there's a little bit of water. There's water up here. There's a lot of natural springs up here. So even if it's like 100 degrees outside, uh, ooh, that's a big rut right there. I want to stay out of. Just got all seasons, 100% stock. Uh, you see a little fishing wire or a line going back and forth. That's holding down. I have a like a 102 inch whip, like old school CB antenna on this. I'm actually going to use for like basically CB and uh, 10 meters. It's so my amateur radio operator. I'm going to get another antenna. I'm going to stick in the dash. Up here in that little high mount on the left is where our house used to be. So, um, where my brother in law was raised. This is uh, 8X um, Rexville, I guess. Private land, of course, is always, there's game cameras all over the freaking place, like you would not believe. It's a nice open field. We're just gonna, uh, let's go off to the side here. And like I said, I've drove this with my PT Cruiser before, and I kind of, I know this land pretty decently well, so there's spots you can't really drive in unless you have something really built, um, where it's basically just, you know, uh, springs, so the water's complete mush, or not mush, the ground's mush, it's old farmland. You know, they have uh, quads and stuff they like running on this. I'm just basically going around, see what, she, see how she feels. It's, I'm still in the Lemon Law area. I think it's under 2,000 miles or I think it's 30 days or 60 days in 2,000 or 3,000. I don't remember exactly what it is. So I'm trying to use my four-wheel drive as much as possible. I'm just gonna set that right down through here. It's really rocky. I'm not really having clearance issues, but it's really rocky. Oh. I say that and I just heard a little scrapey scrape. I think that might just be the four wheel drive. All right, so this land is still going. So there's a trail right over there, but that's a four wheel. I'm not, eh. Go there to that. Oh, walk and make sure it's clear of trees and stuff. Hang it right. Oh, 
I'll keep this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not kicking up any deer or anything. This is, uh, it's like 11 o'clock. Last night it was pretty warm. It's, I mean, it's still in the 40s. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no, the rut's not hitting or I missed it because nothing's really going overly quick or overly, it's not really happening. I could have took that trail. Looks like that would run pretty clear. Uh, in some areas when it's really wet, you really can't. I mean, unless you have something that's actually more four-wheel drive than this thing. Let's say I'm just going on, following the path that's already here. And oh, I was hunting, but my gun's unloaded, my ammo separated. Well, it's out of the gun, and that's way in the back, so, you know. It's not to show how good my car is in four-wheel drive. Because <clears throat> I'm sure there's a, uh, like, Volkswagen Golf Diesel can putt-putt through all this stuff. It's just really bumpy. I don't want to hit, yeah, I'm going to go up. Let's hang it right here. That was really bumpy. And Crazy bumpy. Maybe not the best decision to go through this. So we're gonna. Oh boy. My right, car's doing pretty good. It's a Jeep Renegade. It is a Trailhawk version, so it has a little better four-wheel drive system in it than a regular. And yes, I know it's not a Wrangler, but or XJ or YJ or. Scanner done. Oh. oh why is this stop? No, it's still going. Well, that's good. Pretty cool area here. I know this corner of the prop I sat before many times. Not much of a deer hunter. Really not much of a hunter at all, but I still go out and if there's opportunity to get something, I get something. I really enjoy the outdoors. And sometimes getting cold, sometimes not. We just did a big loop in the the horseshoe, as it's called. I sat here yeah, probably like three or four years ago on this where those rocks are stacked up to the right you see. Sand pain below. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Drop some seven dust. Uh, should I go through this path? Yeah, it's gonna be careful. I don't have any barbed wire. Looks like it's already been brush hogged. It's another the orchard, apple orchard. Woo. I didn't see for other hunters. The farm on the right here, I didn't see anybody. Usually I usually see people, like up in the corner, like just like, or going up or something. The other side, 
there was a guy hunting basically on my brother-in-law's land. His tree stand's basically pointed on the land, but I guess there's uh, some, a lot of remote, like, um, game cams covering all that stuff, so. Three shenanigans, they'll deal with it. Jam into some seven dust on octane. All right, so we just made a loop around there. Ooh, big, see a couple scrapes. Little scrapes though. That's just where uh, bucks rub their horns on little trees, drop their scent. Actually, a pretty good spot. I haven't hunted in a few years just because of uh, different injuries, and this year I still not medically 100%, but I just had to go really, really lightweight on what I was carrying. Usually, I carry enough to start a new civilization, but basically, I had a, a small light knife, uh, five shells, my rifle, and a backpack with a uh, just extra shirt and extra pair of uh, like heavy pants in case it got cold, which I did. All right, so we're gonna go lower part of the property. Piss off everybody. Oh, here's where we came in at. This ain't kicking up nothing. Nothing's moving. Probably scared or anything off, but I wasn't too bad coming in. But I was late getting in. I should have been here about six and kind of sat. Um, shooting light, the legal time getting out to shoot is um, around seven, seven oh five, seven ten, something along that lines. He's not, I don't see that hunter anymore. This is a spot where I can go through if I have to go slow. So I really don't remember. Is that? Well, it looks like it's a spot I'm going over right now. Woo! I just want to go over like a.
Uh, it's definitely not in my backyard. This is, oh, oh, this is marshy. This is not good. I shouldn't drive through this. Okay, well, it's not too bad. It's a little dry as I expected it to be. God, I love Five Finger. Even though picks on them, so they're not a good band or not a real metal band. Don't care. Just all their songs give me the feels. Ooh, look at those ruts. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let me turn off. No, I'll keep the four-wheel drive on. They have it on mud. It's not muddy, but locks in your four wheel drive, lets you spin a little bit. Pretty fun. back out to the main road which is a dirt road. Let's see what else we can listen to. We're gonna pause it here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Back. Let's see, we're still four wheel drive lock. We're not in four wheel drive low because that's just, you know, we're not rock crawling. Do I need that shenanigans? All right, let's straddle this high spot. Nice and easy. I know I should I should just send right through it, but I got the key locked. I'm just glad I remembered the key. <laughs> 